Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to tell a tragic tale about an unfortunate event that happened in Long Beach. On March 12, 2015, Keyshawn and his friend Lance were walking home from Cabrillo High School in Long Beach. Keyshawn had two bags in his hand, one for his football gear and the other for his schoolwork. Keyshawn and Lance seen a man named Giovanni in the alley while they were walking. Giovanni started throwing up L's at Keyshawn and Lance, letting them know he was from Longos, a well-known Hispanic gang in Long Beach. The Longos are one of the most hated gangs in Long Beach and have several cliques, like the east side, the north, and the west side Longos. Giovanni would be from the west side. The Longos are known to be for many gangs in Long Beach, mostly the Crips, ranging from African Americans, Asians, and Polynesians. Giovanni seen Keyshawn and Lance and ran up on them and started dissing Crips and asking where they were from, which Keyshawn and Lance would say they did in vain. Giovanni then tried to punk Keyshawn and reached for Keyshawn's bag, which Lance put Giovanni away and Giovanni reached for the bag again and said, give me your bag. Keyshawn then punched Giovanni in the face. This led to a struggle over the bag, which Giovanni pulled out a knife and stabbed Keyshawn in the chest. Keyshawn then dropped his bags. Giovanni picked him up and then left the scene. Keyshawn collapsed near a middle school where several people tried to help him and sat with him until paramedics arrived. Keyshawn was later pronounced dead. A police officer arrived to the scene and questioned Lance and later retrieved Keyshawn's backpack. Another officer found Keyshawn's equipment back outside of an apartment building near the end of an alley. Police later found Giovanni in the backyard of a house nearby and arrested him. Here is Cabrillo High School, where 15-year-old Keyshawn Brooks was a student. Family members did provide us with a picture of him. Investigators say he was carrying a backpack and walking home shortly after three yesterday afternoon when the suspect tried to grab it. And then during a struggle, the suspect stabbed Brooks and ran off. This all happened across the street from nearby Stevens Middle School as parents were picking up their children. Detectives say one community member called 911 while others provided first aid. Brooks was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Within an hour, thanks to help from witnesses, detectives did track a suspect to a home and apprehended him. He has been identified as 18-year-old Giovanni Montalongo. Investigators say he does have a criminal history that they're looking into. Brooks' devastated parents were at an overnight news conference. They said their son is an innocent victim and asked for help getting him justice. I'd just like to ask that anybody with any information or eyewitness Please, please come forward. My son was not a gang member. This was a murder down outright, and he did not deserve this. In 2018, Giovanni received a life sentence for taking Keyshawn's life. Giovanni is now 26 and in Calipatria State Prison. Keyshawn's mother later stated that she wished Giovanni had made better choices, and if he did, that her son wouldn't have fallen victim to him and she prays every day that God can help her forgive what Giovanni did. This is another tragic and unfortunate event. R.P. Keyshawn. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.